All right, guys, I'm over here at the convection oven, and the temperature is 350, and it's just on bake. It's not on turbo. I keep parchment paper in the bottom, and I found that you can use it over and over again. You don't have to change out the parchment paper every time you do it. So I'm just going to close, put that in there, close it, and then I'm going to go for probably six minutes first. That's my go-to temperature. And then you'll see that this, watch the shrink wrap shrink up as the oven heats up. No, it's not preheated. I do not preheat my oven. So yeah. Not sure how long it's gonna take, but y'all just watch. It is going to just shrink up as the heat, as the um, convection oven oven heats up, and that's why I didn't use that much heat on it with the heat gun. That also will help it to melt faster. So you just get it on there, you'll be fine. And I'm really hoping that this one turns out okay. Um, or great, not okay, because it is for an order. <laughs> Y'all be stressing. All right, let's see what he's doing. I know y'all can see my blue sweatpants and the shirt. <laughs> oh, all right. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's starting to shrink. I know you can see it. So it's starting to shrink up. And then, yeah, so probably halfway through this, I am going to turn it. And then um, I'm going to keep looking for that image to come through that paper. So I'll be back when I come back to turn it. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to turn this. It, um, it's been a few minutes. And as you can see, there's no image coming through that paper. So it's not ready. It's not even close to me already. So I'm going to close it up. And we're just going to let it go to the end of time. End of the time. And then I'll come back. And we'll see if the image is coming through. If not, we're going to put it back in for about another two to three minutes. Alright, so the timer just went off. I let it go the full time. Uh, the rest of the time. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see that. The image is peeking through pretty much, which is a good sign, but y'all, I think, I think I'm going to let go for like another two minutes. So, I don't know if y'all want to hang out with me for two minutes <laughs> or if you want me to come back. I don't know, but, yeah. I just like to be short, and then I got to get my, um, I have a little piece of cardboard that I like to put things on so that they can cool off in front of the fan. And I'm here to tell you that, um, it takes a long time for this glass to cool off, y'all. A long time. So yeah, we're just gonna let that go for just a few moments longer and then I'll be back when I take it out. All right, y'all, the time is just about up. And I will say these frosted glasses, they are tricky um, because the image on the inside of the glass looks so good and then the image on the outside of the glass can still be faded or not as bright and popping. So, there we go. All done. Let's open this baby up. All right. Now, compared to the first time I showed y'all, look how much brighter that image is now. See how it's coming through? You can see it through the paper. And you guys know with sublimation, if you can't see it through the paper, it's probably not quite ready. So I'm gonna take it over to the table and put it in front of the fan. All right, y'all, I'm just gonna sit this here on my table um, and let it 
<clears throat> actually, no, what I'm going to do is take off the sh uh, shrink wrap. Um, because I noticed with the shrink wrap that if you don't take it off immediately, it gets very brittle and hard. And I don't want it to stick to my glass. I don't want to risk the chance of it sticking to my glass. cup is super hot y'all it's even it's for some reason i think it's hotter than the um tumblers be i'm trying to get it off without damaging the, the um the cup here Ooh, Hurt my finger. Oh my gosh. I'm like, somebody's coming in the door. I thought we were set. All right, so that's good. All right, and then see the inside of that? It looks so bright and perfect. So we're just gonna let that chill. Okay, chill. Cool off, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I decided to do another one because I already see some issues with um, the cup that's sitting here now. And so, yeah, I just decided to do another one. Um, it is for a customer, and see how nice, I don't know if you guys can see it here, but the inside looks so nice, and then, yeah, yeah, because I, I noticed some issues with this one right away, um, and I scratched it trying to get the shrink wrap off, so, yeah, now we have to let this cup cool, and then I'll be back to take off the paper on both. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and remove the tape from this one first. And yeah, and I don't know if you can see that right there where I scratched it and I was trying to get the um, shrink wrap off. So this one, I mean, I suppose it could be sold at a discount, but this one will not be going to the customer. So. And I also noticed uh, down here at the bottom, there's some white. And I forgot I had been putting uh, parchment down there if I'm using the shrink wrap on these, which I do. So, I don't know if she was having that issue. She was just saying that the colors were not very vibrant. Alright, and so here's, here's this one. There's the Christmas tree. See, and there's that little bit of ghost down right there. And of course, it's, that scratch is very noticeable. And then the white stuff down here at the bottom. So yeah, there's that one. It did come out bright, vibrant, but... And here's this one. And I was able to get the shrink wrap off of this one pretty good. Once you start going through cups and you know it becomes expensive so yeah that one cup there 
this. It's not ruined, but it's, you know, I wouldn't ship it out to anybody because that is an obvious flaw in the cup. And it was made by me. Now, um, I don't know if you noticed, but I used a different type of um, paper this time. I used blanks galore paper this time. So let's see. There's a Christmas tree, and there is no shadowing. Awesome. I think their colors are a little bit brighter. I think. I don't know. So yeah. And I kept the time the same. I didn't change the time. So this one is going out to the customer. It did come out well. I do recommend just to be sure taping the tops and bottoms, which I didn't do with this one, but this one still came out fine. And the Christmas tree. This Christmas tree is a lot better. So, I hope that helps. Um, you just have to leave it in your toaster oven, mine at your convection oven. 350 degrees, I did um, probably about 9 minutes total, to be honest. Or until you see the image coming through um, your paper. And if you're using the ones, the image, if you use the paper where you can't see the image through, just keep the time the same. And... Um, you just got to trust the process. So I hope that helps somebody. If it didn't help her, um, I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.